people! Project Pet is back with another video. This time it's going to be a bit different from my previous releases, this time I will feature someone else's extraordinary collection. Why? It's pretty simple. It's nice to have some perspective, to learn new things from others, but the main purpose of the video was to show and underline the importance of buying captive born and bred animals from breeders who know what they are doing. Who follows my channel knows that I recently got a new animal, a baby Argus Monitor. This is not the first time I keep this species, actually Argus Monitor was the very first monitor species I kept, but I decided to part from it when my son was born. A few months ago I watched an episode from Minkman, where Joseph bought a baby Argus with the intention of training it to hunt rodents. Watching the video all the memories got to the surface and I just realized how much I love the species. I keep multiple kind of monitors now and I can tell that yellow spotted monitors have a really unique attitude and temper. They grow big, but they stay really active, they are high strung, but usually not aggressive, and their feeding response is so strong you hardly find any other species like the Argus monitor. Watching Minkman's video, I fell in love again, and I knew I want an Argus again. Since these animals are really edgy, it's extremely important to avoid wild coat ones. Not just because captive born and bred animals are usually parasite free when kept well, but CBB animals have a more chilled mellow temper, especially if we are talking about reptiles multi-generations deep in domestical breeding. Luckily, yellow spotted monitors are quite common, they are not that hard to breed, and since Australia doesn't allow reptiles to be exported, you won't really see white coat Argus monitors anyways, but I wanted to mention what could be a difference between a white coat and a CBB animal. In this case, for me, it was important to buy straightly from a breeder and not from a shop. A breeder will always be able to share accurate and useful information about the desired species, while in a shop you might end up getting wrong or half information. I'm not saying you can't find shops where the employees are well educated about the subject, but a respected breeder is where you can really get all the details you need in order to keep your future pet well. So I started to look for breeders, and even though my previous monitors breeder stopped producing these animals, I found another one pretty fast. I used Facebook only to see reptile related ads, and this was the way I found out about Shandor Roscoff as well. We started chatting about Argus monitors, his business, the hobby, etc. He really seemed as an honest, genuine guy with a lot of knowledge and experience in his pocket. I asked him what if I record some footage at his facility when I buy the monitor, he said yes, which was a good sign immediately. If a breeder is willing to show his animals, the enclosures and all, that is a good indicator that you found the right person to purchase from. I would never buy from someone who hides the origin of the reptile I want to buy. Even I invite the people to my home, whoever want to buy something from me. So we agreed on a day, which I postponed twice because of holidays we took last minute. I paid a small amount of money in advance, but that's because I wanted to, Shandor did not ask for a cent. When I arrived, we talked a little more about his business. I got to know that he was running it with his partner. They run this business with also having a full-time job. Shandor told me that they started small, growing a business out from their hobby, investing their savings into it on every occasion possible. It was really nice to get to know how much time and effort they are putting into their business. As I got to know more and more about the details, I started to respect these guys not just because what they do, but because how they do it. I knew I was at the right place and I was extremely excited to see everything he talked about. So, these guys are Shandor and Gergő, our hosts for this video. Thanks to them for letting me in and the possibility for recording. Let's start! The very first thing I saw was a huge incubator with eggs from many kinds of species. Monitors and snakes, many many eggs. I was lucky enough to see some king snakes hatching as well. The number of eggs made it clear that I'm gonna see a lot of reptiles which made me even more excited. When the door opened to the reptile room, the very first thing I saw was what I have came for. Tiny baby Argus monitors were running around in a large enclosure. They were from the latest clutch, the clutch I got Sarah from. These little guys were healthy and beautiful, they were provided with everything they needed. 
UV basking spot dusted insects. Shandor and Gergő were kind enough to feed them in front of me as well, so I could capture how crazy the species is even in really young age. These little devils destroyed everything in a few minutes, leaving nothing for another day. Moving on, there were other enclosures set up for boa constrictors. They were really beautiful, I couldn't help getting sad a bit watching these animals. Why sad? Well, back then I kept a huge collection of snakes. I've been keeping and breeding snakes almost for a decade. But I sold my collection because of my girlfriend in that time who couldn't stand them. We moved together and the snakes had to go. It was a huge mistake which I will never make again. So, back to Shandor's reptile room. What I immediately noticed is that Argus monitors took a large part from the collection. Even when I arrived, I could see females laying eggs, which was really interesting to watch. They lay a considerable amount of eggs, which are pretty big. I also learned that they multi-clutch if they are kept well. There were also different generations of babies, I really had the possibility to choose. There were some holdbacks, but I could pick almost any of the little ones I wanted. I specifically went for a female and Shandor was kind enough to sex them for me. He told me that transillumination technique works fine if the breeder knows what to look for. After checking out the babies, I was lucky to see their parents. Now you can see why I went for specifically for a female. The males get absolutely massive and I have no place for another huge enclosure. A female grows much smaller, therefore can be kept in a smaller enclosure as well. Before we move on, I would like to warn you about the species. These guys are not puppy dogs. These guys absolutely hate being touched most of the time. I'm not saying that you can't get lucky and get a puppy dog team one, but it's like one in a million. You need to put a lot of time and effort to keep your relationship strong and you have to be prepared for a scenario where you end up with a large animal which is really unpleasant to handle. Why I chose mine? Well, as I said, these guys are unique and have a behavior that no other monitor species has. Next to the baby and juvenile yellow spotted monitor's cages were the indoor enclosure of Shandor and Gergo's red food tortoises. It wasn't a big one, but the owners have a huge garden where they can be kept to roam around outside. Even in their indoor enclosure, the animals had everything they needed. The animals were healthy and friendly. They let me scratch their throat without any sign of fear, which showed me that the owners are interacting with them a lot. Gergo told me what they love to eat and what surprised me how much they love to nibble on dead rodents sometimes. I knew that these animals like to take in some proteins from time to time, but I never seen a tortoise munching on raw meat before. Since that conversation, I give my own tortoises from my Blue Tongue Skinks food twice a month. That mix contains 50% meat as well. Moving on from the tortoises, there were the enclosures of the Euromastixes. Euromastix is something I would love to keep, but the kind that is not the cheapest one unfortunately. As I said in one of my previous videos, first I want to upgrade my existing enclosures to create a better life for the animals I currently own, then I look for more. Why I bought my Argus then? Well, I haven't had any new animals the past 4ish years, and let's just say I needed some new impulse. 
Euromastics is something I have been planning for years and years now and I promise that these guys are on top of my list and you'll see them in my collection soon. And now we arrive to a trio of lizards that I believe a lot of us reptile monitor lovers would love to see. Green tree monitors are absolutely beautiful creatures and are something I wanted to keep all my life. The problem is that they are pretty pricey and captive born and bred ones often sold while they are developing in their eggs. Shandor's case is no exception either, he sells these guys pretty fast. The animals were gorgeous and healthy. The favorite meal was adult locusts which they were munching on when I got there. It really is a privilege to see these animals in person. Green tree monitors are beautiful, but blue tree monitors are absolutely amazing. When you see a real blue lizard, you know you're seeing something special. Shandor and Gergő breed these lizards too. They say this species is a multi clutcher as well, along with the green ones. Whoever thought I can't raise the bats was wrong. Black tree monitors are also part of the collection. There is a breeding pair from this species as well. Their jet black body makes them extremely unique and the must have for any reptile keeper who loves rare monitor species. All of the three monitors were absolutely amazing. Seeing the three pairs next to each other was something that you don't see very often. I already told Shandor that I would be interested in a green tree monitor baby in the future but my new Argus monitor was zeroing out the money I saved up for my hobby. The real crown jewel of the collection in my opinion was a bell phase lace monitor male. I truly believe that these monitors with a few other species are the pinnacle of the monitor world. They are robust, huge, extremely intelligent and visually stunning. The huge enclosure shows that these guys have extreme demands and it's just the enclosure itself. The animal's price alone with the availability itself makes this lizard something that most of the reptile keepers will probably never have in their lives even if they wanted to. Shandor was kind enough to take him out so I could touch this guy. It's incredible to feel the skin of these guys and the most amazing thing was to look into the monitor's eyes. You can see the intelligence on them, they are sizing you up immediately they see you. The possibility for getting a peek into this reptile room was huge and the experience itself was a blast. I'm extremely grateful to Shandor and Gergő for this possibility and I really hope I could do justice to Shandor and Gergő's collection with portraying them in this video. I cannot stress the fact how well taken care of all their animals are, how helpful and honest these guys are and how happy I am with my Argus monitor I got from them. Whoever has the possibility for purchasing these guys are lucky and whomever not, I hope this video was at least interesting to watch. See ya!